Hey friend, welcome back to another episode of the vlog. So today we're doing a shop with me video. We have got to go shopping and find an outdoor dining table for the deck. Uh, I know last week we talked and I said I was gonna finish up projects, but it's been rainy here, so I hadn't been able to do much in the yard as far as finishing. We were able to get the raised beds installed. The vegetables are over there, but it's not quite done yet. So before we release that video, I said, you know what? Since I don't have time to work in the yard, let's go shopping. So today I'm gonna take you to a few stores that are here locally and go shop for some dining furniture to see if I can find something that fits the outdoor space that I'm looking for. Now, I will say I went to a myriad of stores. I went to some, I went to places like Bassett where it's gonna cost you $9 million in your left leg <laughs> in order to get what you want. But I also went to places like Living Spaces that's super chic, super stylish, super affordable. And that's what I'm gonna share with you into today's video with some of my thoughts um that i be thinking when i be going shopping uh and then when we come back next week i'll give you a final look and i'm saying final look just for this channel because we're going to start an outdoor living channel um that will go into like all of our outdoor projects and stuff i think it's time to go back inside on this channel i know that's why you guys are here to see how we decked out the inside of the house i'm ready to go and start doing some more of those projects so we're going to get back um to what we started with i've got to finish my office it ain't done since the last time we talked um gotta get tim's office done and we're just gonna take our time and go room by room but i accomplished my goal i said that at the beginning of the year i want to get outside make outside an experience for us for the spring and summer i've done that but now it's time to get back in and tackle these walls on the inside of the house so uh, i'll announce that channel next week so if you want to keep up with what we're doing outside we'll be in two different places it doesn't stop what we're going to be doing here every week uh, giving you some inspiration and home good finds and stuff like that uh, but as far as today's video we're gonna go shopping we got a little message from our sponsor and then after the message from our sponsor we're gonna get into all of these stores that we went and visited give you a little inspiration for some outdoor furniture of your of your own and then we'll come back at the end and chit chat about some online resources that I think are good as well that also have some discounts available for you all right and let's get into today's video all right friends so before we hop into today's video i want to share a quick word from my video sponsor who is a company called office designs now as you can see we're in my home office and i have not finished it yet don't judge me we coming back in here because i've got some a better idea of where i want to go in here but one of the things that i was sure of when i was designing this space is that i wanted a desk in my space that would not only provide like something pretty to look at but would be functional and probably function over beauty because this is my home office I run a techie business from home and this has to be my workhorse so I dibbled and dabbled with the idea of ergonomics for quite a long time and when office designs reached out I was really excited because their company specializes in ergonomic furniture for home offices small businesses medium-sized businesses to create an overall environment for you or you and your staff that I think improves wellness overall. So I got a new desk for my office. I've had it about a month. I want to show it to you. It's not in the place where I think it's going to land, but it has definitely helped me over the last month uh, increase my mobility when I'm working and increase my productivity because I'm not sitting sedentary looking at a computer screen all day. So before we hop into what we got going on today, let me show you how I got it installed share a little bit of information about office designs and then point you in a direction to go grab one uh, because they not only sell desks they sell chairs storage solutions stuff like that for your office as well so let me show you that real quick and then we'll hop into today's video all right so office designs has been around since about 1996 and they specialize in small and medium business office interiors so when they reached out um, to me with the opportunity to receive a desk from them i was really excited because when i went to the website i saw that the style of furniture that they carried one was ergonomic 
a lot of times in both the desk and the seating. And then two, it leaned more towards a modern and classic design, which is something that I wanted to incorporate here in my home office as well. Um, with me working from home, it's really important. And with the type of work that I do, it's really important that I not only pay attention to the way this office looks, but its function as well. And I spend a lot of time in front of the computer and at my desk. So like I said before, I went back and forth on whether or not I wanted to try something ergonomic and add that additional level of movement in my office. So when I got the opportunity, of course, I jumped on it. So now that I have it, I've had it for about a month. And as you can see, assembly was very straightforward. It came in two boxes. Uh, I have the top portion, which is like a mocha brown, and then the legs, which are really nice and heavy duty. Um, and then you attach your controller um, to the bottom of the desk with all of the electronics. So you don't see any of it underneath the desk. You'll see here in a, just a second. Um, but this desk is actually, I want to say it is 60 inches across and 24 inches wide, which, which was perfect for what I needed. But there are so many options available to you over on the website that it is crazy. Um, and I like this style just because I really am trying to incorporate a healthier way of living into my overall lifestyle. And when I think about the amount of time that I spend in front of my computer and what I could be doing with that time as far as movement and moving my body and just paying attention to what's going on, I feel like um, the ability to sit, stand, go up and down, um, have the ability to put like a walking desk underneath here is really going to help me incorporate more movement during a time where I would ordinarily just be sitting in front of a computer screen, probably drinking coffee and snacking. <laughs> so uh, I'm really grateful for the opportunity to incorporate this into my office. While I'm not completely done with the design of the space, this has definitely in the past month helped me uh, to become more aware of what I'm doing during the day and how I'm spending my time and help to increase my productivity and my mobility, like I said at the beginning of uh, this part of the video. So if you're like me and you're looking for a way to incorporate uh, a more comfort and movement into your office that's going to help you be more aware of who you are and just be better off when you're working, then I would encourage you to go over to Office Designs. They don't just sell desks. They have solutions for seating, which I saw a really cute seat uh, that I'm looking at. They have solutions for storage and they offer design services for businesses from your home to like corporate headquarters. So head over and check them out. There's pieces there for all numbers of budgets and I'm sure you can find something that you're interested interested in. And if you're interested in some savings, check the description down below. I'll have any offers or specials like that uh, listed down there and I'll be sure to keep those updated. And there's a link that you can shop in to grab some extra state. Ooh, excuse me, to grab some extra savings as well. So yeah, that's our sponsor. Go check them out and let's hop into today's video. All right, so let's start with Bassett Furniture. Um, I know you don't typically think about Bassett for outdoor furniture, but um, they have a showroom and I was curious, so I went in. What I found in Bassett is that, you know, there's not a lot of options. Their outdoor showroom isn't huge, but where their options come in is in the customization. So what you see is what you get, really. Um, but you do have the ability to customize like aluminum color, color and cushions and things of that nature. And I think that's a plus if you're willing to make the time and, and financial investment it takes in order to get it. So time-wise, you're looking at about a four to six week lead time. And money-wise, you know, just as a point of reference, that table we looked at is about $2,500 and that's with the sale, okay? The chairs are around 900 with the sale. And if you need like six or eight chairs like we do with the table, you're looking at almost $11,000 in outdoor dining furniture. Now, you know I'm not opposed to making an investment. I just don't know if that is the number that I'm willing to invest in outdoor furniture today. <laughs> um, the quality I do think is justified. It's very heavy duty. They're, they're stuff is warrantied on its own you don't have to pay for additional warranties i just don't know if i can swing that budget right now considering we just built a deck but if that's the style that you like and you have the money to invest and you want it to last for a really long time i don't think it's a bad idea 
I don't think you'll be upset. Um, so here we're at a store called Home and Patio. Now this store I think is local to my area. They're here in the San Antonio market. And I think I had the most fun in this store. Not because everything was what I wanted. As you can see, there is a, a mix of styles, but because the style that I was looking for, I found closer in here. And I'll show you what that looks like in just a second. I'm just gonna give you a couple of minutes to kind of look through and see what I saw. And then the one that really stood out to me, I'll come back on camera, talk about it, or come back on the mic and talk about it uh, when we get there and then talk about what that ordering looks like because even though they're local, I think they'll deliver. And I can always reach out if you're interested. If you want me to reach out to them for both the discount and some information as far as delivery out of state is concerned, drop down in the comments and be like, get the discount girl. And if enough of you request it, then I'll reach out and see what I can do. Okay, now this is a set that really caught my eye. I really like the modern style of this. Um, the roping on the chairs is, ugh. and they're comfortable, they're sturdy, like I sat in them, they're heavy duty. The table itself doesn't have all those cracks for stuff to fall through. Like this is, like when I was thinking furniture, this is what I was thinking. Um, the price on it isn't terrible. I think for nine pieces, we were looking at like five, fifty, six hundred bucks. Um, and it comes with some options for some different chairs, but I think I like these the best. What I liked about Home and Patio is they have a large showroom, but you know, if you see something, they've got catalogs and stuff that they send you home with um, that you can look through and kind of get with them and say, okay, this is what I'm looking for and their stuff they said a lot of it is in stock and ready to ship so this is about six thousand um but you know again this is on the higher side of the budget but the material and the quality of the furniture like we went to home depot we went to lowe's first of all you're not gonna find a style second of all the durability just doesn't feel like it's there and i live in san antonio y'all these are the other chairs and this sun and these outside elements up under this oak tree like whatever i get it's gonna have to it's gonna have to work okay i'm not saying that that's it but just saying that that was the style and this this too <laughs> um this one i saw first walking into the store there's two different stores and this table set was on display at the other store and i about lost it the tabletop is like oh this is it now this is 11 pieces this one is sold but they have a smaller one. I think they said it's like an oval size that'll fit like eight people. That 11 piece set is about $12,000. The oval set I didn't see in person. I'd have to get the price for it. But when I saw it, I was like, yep, that's it. That's it, my friend. But there, as you can see, there are so many different options at this store to choose from. I know they're local, but, and I'll reach out and see if they deliver, um, across the country because I know a lot of you all aren't here in Texas and see if there's anything they'd be willing to do for you guys as an audience should you choose to shop through them because I really do like this store and I think that you know I may have to save it up for a couple of months before I go and make that investment just because you know we just put all this money into the deck but I do like the set and I like the durability and the people there were super nice. So another stop that I stopped by while I was out and about was Chair King Outdoor Store, which, or Chair King Backyard, Backyard Store, I think is what his name, which um, was an experience. Now, Chair King is kind of like any of your other large retailers that one side of the store is going to be geared towards one thing, another side of the store is going to be geared towards another. Um, I did see this teak table. The only problem that I have with this teak is that the color is too close to the color of the decking, but I like the chairs and I just don't want the table to wash out <laughs> with the deck. I did like the setup though. 
Um, but, you know, I don't think that it, it would work. Now, this reminded me of something that you would see along the lines of like a Home Depot or something like that. I am intrigued by the sling, though. Um, this sling didn't feel like it was unreliable, um, but I didn't like like the swivel chairs. I don't know. It's something about the swivel. I don't I don't like the way the swivel looks. And I didn't like the table, like the table, the material in the table for $35.99, it felt like it was not gonna last. This was another example of a classic look. I actually like the styling in the back of the chair, but it's one of those looks that I think will serve you for years. And this one didn't feel too bad. Now pricing at Chair King, the way you shop is they have sets put together and you only get the option of like one color or two colors, right? So it's not customizable. So you gotta cross your fingers and hope that the color works, but you can mix and match chair styles and stuff like that, which I like. Now Chair King backyard store, you know, I know, <laughs> I don't know. Some of the prices I saw was like, hmm, for example, this table caught my eye. I really liked this table. The 84 inch of this table with two armchairs and three side chairs was like $8,000. I was like, no, sir. <laughs> Absolutely not. This is not the same quality of like the home and patio store that we went to. There's no way I'm paying eight grand for this set. It's cute. It's stylish. I like it, but not $8,000 worth of I like it. Again, it's cute. And when you work with stores like this, he's like, hey, you know, we got some in-store savings. I don't know how much savings would make me change my mind, but cute, cute set. Uh, just, I don't know that it's priced the way I would like it to be priced, but it is stylish. I do like it. It was one of the favorites that I saw in the store. Uh, another one that I saw, this is a prime example of not being able to customize. I think this set is rather cute. I like the style of the chairs, but the cushions come in this ugly blue or that really old fashioned beige. And those are the only two options that you get. So you're gonna pay $3,000, $4,000 for this set and then completely trash the, the cushions cause you don't like them. That's the problem that I have with shopping at stores like this, but it is what it is. Um, you know, you can't have it all, I guess, but they do have a variety of options and I think it's worth stopping by if you're willing to go in and kind of sort through and pull together what you like for your space. All right, so the first place I'm gonna take you is one of my favorite places to shop at when I'm looking for trendy stuff that's on budget. Like I said, I'm not shopping for budget per se, uh, I'm looking more so for quality. I'm okay with making investments, but there's something about shopping at living spaces that does it for me, not just because they have stuff that's affordable, but they do a really good job of keeping up with trends, which is why I go there. Um, now, I will say this, you are not going to go to living spaces and get a piece that's going to last for like 10, 15 years. That's just not going to happen, okay? Um, it's just not made like that, but... I mean, this stuff is a little more trendy uh, in some cases. So your your design style might change in 10, 15 years and you'll be totally fine in the next five years replacing what you've purchased because it's different for you. I'm not saying it's bad quality. I'm just saying it's not the stuff that you are going to pass on to your kids, okay? Don't go in there looking for that, but you are gonna go get something here or you can, you have the ability to go and shop and find something here that's going to create a total vibe for your space um, and be something that you're going to be proud of, that you're going to enjoy, that your family will enjoy for at least a little while until you get to a position where you either decide you want to replace it with something else that's trendy or you want to replace it with something that's more long lasting. Uh, for me, I'm not quite sure which direction I'm going yet, which is why I've went to all of these different stores because I want to just see what's out there. Um, I, I did go to Home Depot. I did go to Lowe's. I'm not going to include them in this video because they're not the trend that I'm looking for. Uh, but I thought it would be fun to add living spaces to the mix because this is probably next to the home and patio store. This is probably the biggest showroom for outdoor furniture. 
And they do a really good job of styling it in a way where you can see the function, the layout, and can imagine it in your space, which I think is something to be said for the visual merchandisers that are planning the space in the store. I think they do a really good job of that. So uh, I did see a couple of pieces that I'd be willing to spend a little bit of my coin on. Um, and I'm, I'm on the fence <laughs> because I don't know what I'm going to do. But there were so many options like this day bed, for example, if the bottom portion, there's two things in here that I saw that I was like, dude, if the bottom portion of my yard was done, I'd buy it. It'd go home. Um, but then there was other pieces where I was like, oh, that's cute. But I wouldn't touch it with a long handle spoon because it wouldn't even last a couple of years, right? So when you go to living spaces, if you have one in your area, I recommend you going and shopping. Uh, but if you don't, um, just know that even if you purchase it online, it's not going to be the heaviest piece of furniture. It, it might wobble after a couple of years. And this is not me hating on the store. This is just being realistic about the quality of what you're purchasing. But ain't nothing wrong with it. Like, I'm highly considering <laughs> putting some stuff together and pulling it on my deck because I want something right now that's a little bit more fashion forward versus classic to sit at. And that sometimes either costs a whole lot of money that we're not budgeted for right now or is made in a way where it's just what it is. We know it's going to be on trend for a little while. And then after a little while, you're going to have to replace it. So who wants to spend a whole lot of money on something you know you're going to replace in a few years anyway? Like this blue, right? Prime example. If I had somewhere for this to go, I'd get it, right? But I don't have nowhere for it to go. And I'm sure Tim's happy about that. But it's an $800 set for three pieces. I have absolutely nowhere to go, but it is the cutest rope design, colorful piece that in a few years, I'd be tired of looking at, <laughs> okay, if I could be honest, right? But it's super cute for right now, so why not spend a little bit of the coin? Like, if you just bought the lounge chair, it's $4.95 by itself. So if I'm going to go in here and spend $800, bucks, i am going to get it, and I'm going to be cute, and I'm going to live in it and enjoy it for a while I think it's cute, and then be okay when I have to replace it, all right? Here's a table to match it. Um, now this table wouldn't work for my space. Again, I don't like that brown color as far as the table is concerned, but it is what it is. You know, it's an affordable option. $18.95 for that set compared to the $6,000 that we've seen. You know, granted, you're, you're only going to pay that $6,000 once, maybe the $1,800 you'll pay it a couple of times, or you'll pay it eventually, right? It's just all a matter of what you want for right now. Another good thing that I like about living spaces is they have some really cute accessories. Um, like I said, everything is always on trend. It's really colorful, you know, and I'm feeling this. Some of their accessory prices, however, um, are not in line with what I think about when I think about living spaces. Like I'll show you something in a little bit, like that pot back there. When we get to that pot, we'll talk about it. But some stuff is like, oh, that's really cute. Like that watering tin was 15 bucks. I think that's a lot for that little bitty watering tin, but it's cute. And if you got 15 bucks and you want to add a pop of orange, why not, right? Why not? Um, this table, for example, super cute. I would not put it outside in exposed elements, though, even though we know we don't have to replace it. We just don't want it to look beat up before it's time. And this, I think the top of it feels like laminate. I'm not quite sure what it is. It's real cute, but I just wouldn't put it somewhere that's exposed. If it were covered, for sure. But in an exposed area, I don't know if that table would be able to take it or the aluminum on the chairs. I'm not sure. But super cute. Real trendy and could totally vibe out your space if this is your style. I like it. I would do it. But it's just this table is not going in an exposed area. Um, this table is a little bit more classic, a little bit more um Typical of what you see of outdoor furniture, but there's some mix and match on the design, the tables, the chairs. Real cute. I thought it was really cute, and it was not a bad price, $22.95 for a bench, two chairs, two armchairs. I'm like, okay, you know, now we talking. I could swing that versus spending $10,000 right now. If I'm going to be honest, I don't know. I like the black sling. Uh, this is not the sling that we, we saw at the home and patio store. This is not the sling that we saw at um, 
uh, Bassett, but it's cute and it will be durable for a couple of years and you got options for him. Here's a couple of cute planters. I couldn't find a price on the planters, but I'm sure they're over a hundred bucks. Everybody charging a hundred, every, every plant I see is a hundred dollars, a hundred dollars, a hundred dollars. It's crazy. Um, but those were super cute. And then, um, wait a minute, we're about to get to it. This planter of the head, so cute. I could totally see it on my patio. Um, this, I would use that for fake flowers and I'm not a fake flower type of girl, but I would not plant anything real in there. Um, but what was I talking about? Oh, the head vase that we're about to get to. Um, this head vase, it's gotta be resin. It's not even, where is it? Come on, friend. Let's get to it. Here she goes. It's gotta be resin. It's not even concrete, not even heavy, but y'all super cute. Could totally see it as a centerpiece on the table with some grass or something in it. $85. I don't know living spaces for why. Why would I pay that? Why would I pay? It ain't even heavy. Like if I drop it, it's okay. I don't know. Anyways, uh, that was our trip to living spaces. I really enjoyed it. I'm going to hop back on camera real quick, give you a couple of online options that I have for you that also have some savings. And then we'll wrap up today's shopping video. Child. So let's chit chat about outside, not outside, online resources for outside. <laughs> All right. So to wrap up today's video, I want to come back and share a couple of online resources that I think are, are viable uh, if you're shopping online for furniture. Uh, no, we're not talking Pottery Barn, CB2 or anything like that. I, that doesn't fit my style. And I feel like the people that are here it's not your style either. And if it is, you know, you're just here because you like me. Thank you, girl. Uh, but I will say that there are two places in particular that I have experience with. It's from working with them, from actually having their furniture that I think are worth at least the look. First being Outer. Y'all have heard me go on and on and on about them before. And I think they are great for like sitting furniture, sofas, chairs, stuff like that. Uh, I don't have any experience with the dining furniture. They do sell a dining table, I believe, um, but it's not necessarily my style. And I recognize that Outer's price point is not in everybody's price point, and they know that too. They get that too. Um, but what I will say is the reason why we invested like we invested in this living room furniture is for the very reason why I'm looking at it today. Um, there are spot cleans that I have to do on the furniture. And what does it for me is the ability to cover these sets up when it's raining and in the elements outside and be able to come out, roll that thing up, sit behind a chair and get straight to using my furniture again. It is the cushions are thick. They're comfortable just like the day I got them. Like, I really literally can't say enough about this set. And I know it's not in everybody's budget, but if it is in your budget, it is one of those things that I would say, if you're willing to invest outside like that, this is the place to go for like your seating furniture. It is a more classic design, but they do have aluminum, which leans more toward the uh, modern look. I like the classic of the wicker up under the covered patio, out on the patio. I am leaning more towards the aluminum just because it's going to be in the elements. And I just like that look when it comes to dining furniture. With outer, they do have some sales going on right now. I think there's something going on for Earth Day and even Mother's Day. And you will still save like 5% on top of that purchase when you shop through the link down below. That's why I wanted to come share them with you because there are some cost savings. Um, when it comes down to shopping with them. Y'all see this stuff and all I am always, always <laughs> uh, using this stuff. Like this table I got last year from World Market, we gotta replace it this year. Um, she cute and maybe I won't replace it this year, but she definitely gotta get replaced next year. It's just quality for me. And that's kind of why I'm on the fence about what I wanna put as far as the dining furniture is concerned because it's gonna be in the elements. It's going to be in the elements and I'm really on the fence of whether or not I want to lean trendy or if I want to go ahead, bite the bullet, get what I need to get and know that I'm not going to have the hassle and cleaning and 
pre preserving and all that good stuff next year. Outer doesn't sell a table that I like. You may like the table. You can go and check it out. See, and you got some additional savings when you shop through my link below and use the code down below just to be safe, okay? That's resource number one. Resource number two online, it's gonna be RST Brands. If you're not heard about them, they're the people that send me my green sofa in my living room. I would shop with them because I have my green sofa and I don't feel like I need to replace it or will have to replace it anytime soon. So RST does outside. Like the sofa indoors was new. Outside is what they do. <laughs> Is what they built their brand on. It is what they do. It is what they take to High Point, which is an interior designer's market every year. Um, it's like their sweet spot, their bread and butter. So I know if they can get the inside right, that the outside is going to be good. There is a set that I am looking at at RST called the Milo. Um, it's It leans more towards the modern that I'm looking for. But when I talked to them, they said the Portofino collection is the collection that sells the most for them. It's the most popular. It's one of the ones that people go crazy about. So I'll put pictures up on the screen so you can see it. And I'll leave links down below so you can go check them out. Uh, it is a little more classic than what I'm interested in. But they do have something that I'm interested in. And to invest in it is not like over the top, like it's not a Bassett type investment. It's affordable, it is more than living spaces, it is less than outer, but it is something that I think I can swing. It's just a matter of whether or not I want that style. And I need bar stools and Milo, I don't think comes with the bar stools. So that's been the hold up on that purchase. But outside of that, if they had what I needed, that would probably be where I go because I already have experience with them. And I'm sharing them with you because you can save 20% if you shop with them through the link down below and through the discount code. So it's worth going to take a look if you're in the market for outdoor furniture, if outer is outside of your reach, if you don't want to shop at the Home Depot, you want something that's different that not a whole lot of people are going to go and have, go check out RST see what they got you might find something that you like if you're one of those people that likes everything to be cohesive they sell like whole sets i'm talking under your patio on your deck by your pool everything if you got that kind of coin or if you're looking to piecemeal it together like over time they're one of those companies that i'm like okay i would shop with them because they've been around for a little while and you know they ain't going nowhere and this kind of stuff it kind of stays in stock you don't have to worry about it going out of stock which is what i also like about outer this is their thing this is what they stick to like you know you're gonna get it so that's my resources for you guys uh that's where i am as far as the shopping is concerned um we're gonna be out on vacation next week so the video after next week will be of us on the island somewhere i don't know where i'm going tim won't tell me all i know is that swimsuits are involved <laughs> so that video not next week's video but the week after that will be a celebration of my birthday out in the caribbean somewhere and then when we come back uh we'll go back inside and start our inside projects but that's it thanks for sticking around for today's video i hope you saw something that you liked uh i haven't linked everything for today's video but just be on the lookout in the community tab i'll have links to some of the things that i saw that i can link to uh, in the community tab and don't forget if you like the home and patio store let me know if enough of you let me know that you want me to reach out to them I'll reach out to them and see if they deliver everywhere and see if there's some discounts available because I do like I, I like that store just because they have unique stuff and they've got brochures from the vendors that they work with and they have ways to get stuff that you wouldn't find everywhere else. And I'm all about that. I'm all about them. Okay. But that's it for today's video. It's been cool hanging out with your cool shopping. Let me know if you like this type of video because, you know, we got to accessorize. So when I go shopping to accessorize, I can take you with me too. But that's it for now. I'll see you in next week's video. Bye, friends.